guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Just Kick the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am so excited to try the Face Shop collaboration with Avon's The Rice Water Bright Foaming Cleanser. Urgh! I'm excited, I'm excited, I'm excited. Like, first thing I want to talk about though is did you see how ginormous this thing is? It's like this bigger than the size of my face. When I ordered it, I was expecting for it to be like that big. Okay, like probably about that big. All right, but look at this. It is ginormous. It's 300 ml and the packaging, I have to say, is stunningly gorgeous. Rice water has been used uh, for centuries in royal Asian beauty rituals to, again, have a nice clean and moisturized complexion. So this is a foaming cleanser and is made with a rice extract. It's supposed to gently moisturize your face while cleaning it and bringing out the impurities. So I was reading a little bit about it online. It's supposed to also help brighten your skin and maintain the skin's natural balance and hydration. Okay, if you hear little in the background, that is the baby monitor here. He's napping and I'm trying to get this done because I fell asleep last night before washing my face. Bad, bad, bad. I know. Bad, bad, bad. I know. But that gives me the opportunity to use this. It's supposed to be a soft and airy moisturizing cleansing foam with a whipped cream like texture that gently glides onto your skin, effectively removing makeup residue while brightening the complexion. Okay, so this is my complexion right now. Right. I have like cruddy makeup um, on my eyes, so I know it's really bad. So the, what are the key ingredients of this product? It is rice water, which is a milky vitamin and rich water obtained after rinsing rice. You know, the funny thing is, I remember when I gave birth to Ginevra years ago that they did tell me to use rice water to clean her skin, like the elders. And I was like, huh? I didn't believe it at all, but I'm like, oh, now that I'm reading up, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. So I might be saving some of my rice water when I go to steam my rice in my Zogurushi machine. And this also contains vitamin A, B, E, and ceramide? I'm butchering the pronunciation of it, I know for sure, but I will post it up here. Now I was reading about what ceramide is, and it actually it's um it's a waxy lipid that helps to maintain moisture in your skin if I believe, if I read it properly. So it helps to form the skin's barriers and help to retain moisture within your skin. So this should not dry out your skin. I, on the Paula's Choice website, I liked how they kind of explained what the ceramides are. It's like the mortar between bricks. So if your skin cells are the bricks, the ceramides is what's kind of keeps it all together. It also helps to protect against visible damage from pollution, other environmental stressors, which seems to be like a huge theme in our skincare nowadays. So that's definitely what skincare specialists are really looking at, the pollutants and how that affects your skin and how you can prevent it and treat it. I was also reading that without a proper ratio of, of the cer ceramides, 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 I'm going to call it ceramides, ceramides, your skin's barrier can become compromised, which will lead to irritation and uh, dryness and itching. So, I mean, and you see me scratching every now and then, so perhaps probably it. All right, taking a break, baby's waking up. Hello, hello, who's seven weeks old tomorrow? I am. Are you seven weeks old tomorrow? Yeah. Now, the fact that winter is literally just around the corner, and we're actually supposed to expect a huge storm starting tomorrow, this will be, it's supposed to be great for helping you to maintain the moisture in your skin and to kind of just kind of give a good base and prep for your regular skincare treatment and also your skincare moisturizer that you're going to put on top of it afterwards. Now, you do use this AM and PM, and so the instructions, lather up the foaming cleanser with water and massage it into your skin in a circular motion. Okay, and then after that, you rinse with lukewarm water and then you finish off with cold water as a finishing touch. The cold water is probably to help to kind of close the pores a little bit or to minimize the, the size of your pores. Well, I don't know if that's actually scientifically accurate, but that's what it says in my head. <laughs> and that means a lot. What else can dry out your skin where the ceramide would help is, are things like in addition to cold weather, it would be things like um, extreme heat or like dry heat. And then also using like hot water. I mean, I love showering with hot water. So that could 
be a culprit as well. Okay, so after I finish nursing this guy, I am going to, <laughs> I will test out this product. All right, I'm back. You can probably see I'm in different clothes because it is now the next morning. It was just, he wouldn't settle down. And then we had to get him way to school for Chinese school. And uh, yeah, so the next morning, I did wash my face, but I'm still going to finish up this review video. So let's go try this out now. It's a little florally and a bit earthy. I can't figure out what kind of flower it is, but it's like super relaxing me. <laughs> you know how sometimes you just, you smell something and you just go like, Usa. yeah, that is this for me. It's just, I feel the tension in my shoulders release. There's a really calming and delicate scent. It's really, really nice. And I love the packaging. Look at the packaging, like the soft pink with like um, some sort of grain, I guess rice grain. <laughs> it would make sense that it's rice grain, right? Okay, so let's try this baby out. So it's like a creamish cleanser. It's kind of pearlized too. I don't know if the light will catch it, but it has a bit of like a pearliness to it. It's very, it's very, it's not like super hard and dense. It's very, um, it's quite light. So you start off with lukewarm water. And then rub in. Mm. Oh, it's real. It's a, the scent is very, very delicate. So I had a facial esthetician or a facial technician. They told me that um, washing your face with a cleanser, like a gel cleanser or a foaming cleanser, count to 50, do 50 circles. So I'm doing 50 circles, but I don't, I've actually lost count because I'm chatting with you. It's getting quite foamy. Well, it's not like bubbly foamy, but that little bit actually covered quite a bit. Focus more on the blackhead area. That's probably about 50. Feels very gentle. And for some reason, I don't know why, when I read that it was rice water, although it said rice water foaming cleanser, I thought it was a foliator. I don't know why. Probably because of rice, I was thinking like little rice grains, but it's rice water. In my mind, the scent is like a jasmine flower, probably just because of the rice, because in our household, we usually eat like in jasmine rice. And so that's probably what I'm thinking of. All right, so. I didn't have it wet enough. So it doesn't feel like it's like pulling too much on my skin so far. The only part I feel a little bit of tingle is right around my nose area, but I think it's because it's a little bit chapped from possibly another beginning stages of another cold. <laughs> my nose has been like running all day yesterday. But all right, let's rinse this out. It's at first to let lukewarm water and then finish it with cold water. So trying really hard not to use hot water. Okay, now I'll finish off with some cold water. That will wake you up. Ooh. Refreshing. Hmm. It's really soft. So it doesn't feel like the, the cleansers like stripped my skin. I felt like it was like my skin feels clean, but it doesn't feel like really taunt. The only part that I feel a little bit of a tingle is right in this area, but like I say, it is chapped from me blowing my nose all day yesterday. I still have to do my weekly exfoliation, but this is a really nice, gentle, mild cleanser. <clears throat> and you can use it day or night. Okay, so let's go back to the office now. It's been about a minute since I washed my face and my cheeks feel so incredibly soft. Like so incredibly soft. I still feel the tingle here, so it means I do need to moisturize. Yeah, soap warp extract is what helps to brighten the skin. So they also have a pack of 50 rice water cleansing sheets and that actually has um, the rice extract and the rice bran oil to help brighten and moisturize your skin. But in addition to that, it also has mango butter to nourish your skin. So those, I, if I were to get the, the cleansing wipes, which I didn't order this time around, 
um it'd be really great for travel or like put beside your bed for when you're about to pass out and you're like oh shoot i forgot to wash my face use it to wash your face real quick the rice water bright foaming cleanser is great for people who are looking to hydrate and, and brighten their skin as well as people who have concern about dull or uneven skin tone and like probably like a bit of a rough texture which i do i have a little a couple little bumps so i'm excited to try this out for a little bit to see where that takes me um, it's also good for people who are looking for a mild cleansing product so this could be a daily product that you use every day both a.m and p.m Oh, it says right here, do not use on broken or damaged skin, which is right here. Oops. Right. It's been about five minutes. I haven't put moisturizer on my face yet. I do remember reading somewhere that after you wash your face, you should put moisturizer on your face within seven minutes. Was it? Yeah. So I'm going to do that now. But the skin still feels soft, but I do feel a bit more tightness, like, in my forehead area. But my cheeks feel good. Cheeks feel really good really really good so if you're interested in trying our rice water bread as well as seeing the entire lineup of all of our new great products make sure you do click my e-star link down below in the description box or if you're interested in becoming a beauty boss starting your own avon business having a free online boutique again click that description link if you enjoyed this video make sure you give me a big fat thumbs up and if you're new to my channel make sure you do click that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it so you never miss a video notification if you haven't done so yet make sure you do click over to my yix are us vlog channel it is a channel where we talk more about my personal life including food life and travel adventures i love you guys thank you so much for watching see you in the next video bye